I would sum up my interior style as, I think, mid-century minimalist with a heavy dose of rich lady 70s Italian. Hence this. <laughs> I'm Laura Harrier and this is my life in interiors. I think the most important thing to me when redesigning my home is just that I get bored really easily and in the same way that I'm always switching up my outfits, I always want to switch up my home, which is not a very financially viable thing to do all the time, unfortunately. So I like to switch it up in little ways all the time. I'm always rearranging, I'm always getting new vases, putting flowers, rehanging pictures. I just like to keep things feeling fresh. The last thing I bought for my home, I bought a ton of servingware, plates, bowls, everything in Puglia this summer and I designed it myself and made everything and it's yet to come and I don't remember what I bought because I just went crazy in Italy and bought a million things. So something's gonna show up in my house. I think it's a lot of plates, but I don't really remember. My first design memory, I got my first apartment when I was 18 in the East Village in New York and I spent way more money than I should have on this vintage couch that no one could sit on because it was so hard and so uncomfortable, but I just loved the way it looked in this shitty East Village apartment that um, that was the only thing that I had in there. I think my most treasured item of furniture is a Gay Alenti coffee table. That was sort of my big first serious furniture purchase. And it's one of the marble ones, but it's a very rare one because it's uh, a rosy color. It's really beautiful, I love it. I've been working with Tiffany Howell for a few years now, I think, you know, since I had my first home in LA. And we just have such similar aesthetics and she's become a very good friend. It's just seamless. It's never a conversation. It's just like texting photos back and forth, being obsessed with things, and then we just go for it. I think for me, design icons are definitely Obviously, architects, like I would, my dream would be to live in a Neutra house, right? But at the same time, I really feel so inspired by so many different mediums when it comes to home and design. And that's what I love about it is that I want to think about what am I listening in this space? What art do I want on the walls? Like, how do I want it to smell? How do I want it to feel more so is, oh yeah, a Vladimir King and couch, like major. I, of course I want that, but at the same time, like Sade is always a big inspiration because like the vibe that her music gives is the vibe that I want my house to feel like. So I think it's harder to just say like three specific design people. It's very eclectic. I have a lot of style cringe moments. Unfortunately, <laughs> I th in my youth, I wanted to experiment a lot and just kind of find my style and find my vibe. I definitely remember as a teenager wearing a lot of things like tied around my head. It was kind of that era of like a like Coachella e bandana. Thankfully, there are not a lot of photos. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, but I think it's important to have style cringe moments because how do you find your style if you don't like try and fail a few times? You have to try everything to know what you like. I think I knew I found my design groove when I felt this sense of confidence in my taste that I hadn't felt before. I think, you know, Tiffany's been a huge help in that because I, before I met her, I didn't know about a ton of designers. I didn't know a lot of history of architecture and stuff and having that world sort of open to me made me so interested in it and doing my own research and really figuring out what I like and figuring out what my taste is. It's really just kind of exploring and trial and error. And I think once I, felt really sure about what I like, what I don't like, then everything sort of falls into place. I guess my biggest design investment to date would be a house, <laughs> you know? But I think um, also in terms of what I try to think about investment-wise versus um, places to save money, I think it's always things you sit on, big pieces of furniture. I think it's worth, you know, investing in a beautiful couch with great upholstery because you're there all the time. A good coffee table really builds the room. I think drapery is so important that we forget about a lot. I think that's something worth investing in. And artwork, really like the thing I would want to invest in the most is art because you can have a super boring room, but if you have an amazing painting, it's gonna make all the difference. I really love my bedroom. It's very soothing and calming and I'm really fortunate to have a really beautiful view out into LA, but with these treetops and it really feels like I'm away in a jungle. Um, it's really green and you can hear birds, which is just, it's really nice. It's like a little oasis in the city. 
Okay, a home secret is that my friends get really drunk in my glam room. <laughs> That's like somehow the party always ends up like in my glam room, like trying on my ridiculous clothes and drinking champagne. So if you see us late night, in the glam room, that's what's happening. I love entertaining at home. It's something that I really am into. I would so much rather throw a party in my own house than get dressed up and go out. I really just like to set a, a vibe and a mood. I think it's so important to have the right playlist, to have candles burning, to make a fire, to just feel like really cozy and make people feel comfortable, but also like have a party. Like I want people dancing by the end of the night. I usually cook something. Um, it's really fun. I would say expressive elegance means elegance on your own terms. I think, you know, elegance is something that I always strive for, but I also want it to feel real and grounded and like myself. I'm not this like perfect lady who's like elegant at all times, but I do love beauty and I love beautiful things. And I think making design and, and high end elegance feel more attainable, I think is something that I really am passionate about. And I think that everybody can have some, their own version of, of elegance. Um, it just depends what it looks like for you.